it's Eugenia. So today I wanted to do a Kingdom Hearts Kyrie cosplay video. I talk about Kingdom Hearts a lot on here because I love Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts is literally like my favorite series in the world. So um, I thought it would be super cool to do a Kyrie cosplay. Kyrie is one of my favorite Kingdom Hearts characters and I recently actually got a cosplay of her. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna film a video showing you guys my cosplay. So this is actually a Kingdom Hearts 2 cosplay of Kairi. I knew it would have been super awesome if I did a Kingdom Hearts 3 Kairi cosplay because Kingdom Hearts 3 is like coming out so soon and I'm so excited for it. Um, but this is the Kingdom Hearts 2 Kairi cosplay and I really really like Kairi's outfit also from Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, at some point I might actually also get a Kingdom Hearts 3 Kairi cosplay and maybe cosplay Kairi again at some point because I would really like to do that. But yeah, for now, <laughs> this is my Kingdom Hearts 2 Kairi cosplay. So this is the outfit. It is Kairi's dress that she wears in Kingdom Hearts 2. And I love her look and like her outfit in Kingdom Hearts 2. I think it's super awesome. So this is it. This is how the outfit looks. I'm really, really happy with this cosplay. I actually just got this off of eBay. I don't remember which eBay account it was, but yeah, they sell a lot of them on there and I'm really happy with it. Like the dress is like really well made. It has like all her zippers and everything. The detailing is actually really, really nice and I'm very happy with it. So that's how it looks guys. That is how it looks on and everything. It also came with the belt and the belt is perfect. It comes with Kyrie's bag and everything. So that is the belt. It's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate to what her outfit actually looks like. Has a hood too, but I don't think I'm gonna put that on with my wig right now. <laughs> I'm very happy with it, and I think that the person that made it on eBay did a really good job. So thank you to them. I wish I could credit them right now and be like, this is their account, but sadly I'm not really remembering the name. But <laughs> there's a lot of these outfits on eBay, and um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Oh, and also guys, how could I forget? Whoops. <laughs> I also have my Destiny's Embrace Keyblade right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but now I'm just gonna put this right here. Really happy with that too though. <laughs> and I also just actually got this wig also off of eBay. Um, the wig, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, when I first tried it, I was a little bit disappointed. Like, I do like it for the most part. I think that the red color is really good and it's pretty similar to Kyrie's actual hair color, which is perfect. Um, but yeah, I had a little bit of trouble with it. I'm not the best at putting wigs on, so maybe this is my fault. I don't know. But it kind of reminds me more of Kingdom Hearts 1 Kyrie, which I love Kingdom Hearts 1 Kyrie too. I love Kyrie in all the games, of course. Um, but Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie, and from looking at the picture, it did honestly look like the wig was gonna be a little bit longer and um, kind of more how Kyrie's hair is in Kingdom Hearts 2, because in Kingdom Hearts 2 her hair is a little bit more grown out, and I would say it goes like a little bit past her shoulders, and you can see on me, I don't know, maybe it's just because I have a lot of hair and my hair is all on a wig cap below this. I promise you guys who say that my hair isn't real by the way. You could literally see part of my wig cap right there. I had a little bit of trouble getting this like to be on perfectly, so I'm sorry about that if that's like really annoying, but I tried my best, so hopefully I did like a kinda decent job getting it on. <laughs> but yeah, um, so it is a little bit shorter than I expected it to be. In the picture I ordered from, it looked like it was gonna be more around like shoulder length and kind of more um, how Kyrie's length of hair is in Kingdom Hearts 2. But for the most part, I still am happy with it. It's still a really good quality wig, and hey, it's kind of like Kingdom Hearts 1 Kyrie, and it's red, and, and you know, that's Kyrie's hair color, obviously. And um, I would say that the color and all that is pretty accurate to what Kyrie's hair actually looks like, probably. So yeah, for the most part, I'm happy with it. Um, I may have maybe done better. This I also, like I said, just got off of eBay. Maybe I would have done a little bit better with a wig if I ordered it off, off a cosplay site or maybe even just bought a wig that was a similar color and tried to cut it similar to how her hair looks. Um, which I don't know how good I would be at that, I've never really tried, but you know, 
it's an option if you're cosplaying, I guess. <laughs> and then um, next thing, moving on to the next thing, is the shoes, which hopefully you guys can see. I'm like trying to raise up my leg to like show you guys the shoes. And the shoes, honestly, I love. I also just got these off of eBay too. And the shoes, I think, are amazing. They literally look exactly like hers, and they're so cute and so pretty. So, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, my room is a little bit of a mess right now. There's like a lot of stuff around. So, just kind of knocking things over by accident. But I'm really happy with the shoes. I think the shoes are super cute and really pretty and literally look just like Kyrie's in the game. The last thing is I figured to like do this cosplay, it would make sense for me to also order Ky Kyrie's Keyblade. So I did. And this Keyblade, I actually did not order on eBay. I actually just got this on Amazon. I think it is really nice. It is Kyrie's Destiny's Embrace Keyblade and um, yeah, it's really awesome. You guys can see it is her exact Keyblade. <laughs> so where this was actually kind of like a pretty good price, it's there's some things that maybe some people wouldn't be happy about. Like, if you want a really, really accurate Keyblade, and one that looks exactly like the real thing, <laughs> on eBay, and I'm sure in other sites too, there are some really expensive ones that probably look exactly like the real thing and are just like having an actual Keyblade, which is incredible. <laughs> but those, unfortunately, are pretty expensive. Like, I think a lot of time they're a couple hundred dollars, where this was more like, I think, like, $40-ish. It might have been less. It might have actually been like 16 I don't really completely remember, but <laughs> I remember that it was definitely much cheaper. For the price especially, I feel like you do pretty well. I feel like it's actually a pretty nice keyblade and it, it does look like Kyrie's keyblade. The one bad thing that it might bother some people is on the back. You can see it isn't actually painted on the back. It's only painted on this side, but it doesn't bother you and honestly I feel like for pictures or even like just to go out like cosplaying or if you're going to a convention or like whatever I feel like this totally still works. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be like it's like life-size. Here's my Destiny's Embrace Keyblade. I love it. <laughs> and yeah guys so that's pretty much the outfit. Also the makeup and everything I just kind of did to look kind of naturalish because I feel like that's probably what Kyrie's makeup would look like if Kyrie even wears makeup, you know? But <laughs> I feel like with her look, I feel like that was what was probably the best thing to do. Well, I'm gonna show you guys also how I did my makeup. This is how my makeup came out. Again, I'm really sorry about my, um, my wig cap if you're seeing that a bit. I don't know how to explain it, but if my hair is kind of all like bunched up together in my wig cap and it's making my wig look kind of weird, then I'm sorry about that. That is my cosplay outfit and I'm gonna show you guys how I did my makeup now and that and and I love Kyrie and I love Kingdom Hearts, so I was like, I need to do this and make this video. <laughs> so Kyrie's makeup looks like it's mostly kind of like natural looking, I think. So that's mostly what I'm gonna do, just kind of like put my foundation and eye makeup on, but pretty like natural looking and do eyeliner and all that. So at first thing I'm gonna do is just like my face makeup and just put like primer and stuff on my face. Alright, I'm gonna go and wet my beauty blender now and then just apply my foundation.
Now I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder to kind of like set it and then that's pretty much it for my face makeup. I don't know, I'm probably gonna just like use setting spray and a little bit of highlighter. And now I'm going to begin doing my eye makeup and my eye makeup is going to be mostly just kind of like natural kind of looking colors because when I look at Kyrie's makeup that's kind of like what I would imagine her makeup to be and that's what it mostly looks like to be. So um, yeah I'm kind of just going to use like natural kind of colors and I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Smoky Palette uh, which has a lot of naturalish colors actually. And um, I don't know that I'm just kind of putting eyeliner on and doing all that. So. And of course I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Primer Potion before I put the eyeshadow on because this just always definitely tends to make my makeup look a lot better and go on a lot nicer. So I'm using this white shade first called 13 and just kind of putting this right above my eye. And then after I'm gonna use this shade called Combust, which just kind of looks like a good, kind of like transition-y shade, I think, and just kind of put that in the crease in my eye, right here, and trying to blend this in. I know some of you guys say I'm a really bad blender, but I'm sorry, I promise I'm trying. And then I'm gonna use some of this shade called High which is kind of like a pinkish, kind of like whitish shade, just kind of, not really like sparkly, but kind of shiny. And I'm kind of just using that in the corner of my inner eye there, and a little bit kind of like into my eye also, like maybe about like halfway. Then after that, I'm using this light brown shade next to it called Dirty Sweet, and I'm applying that to my lid. And then on my eyelid again, kind of like in the outer part and also going into the crease. I'm gonna use this shade that's like a slightly darker shade called Radar. That's a good thing with these shades. I feel like they all blend really well, which makes things easy. Then I'm gonna use that same like darker brown shade. It's like the darkest brown in this palette, I think. Um, or one of them. This one might be darker. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna also put that a little bit just kind of like below my eye and then just blend it out a little. And then like very, very lightly with my finger, I'm just kind of blending it a bit. Sometimes it tends to bend better, better like that for me than with the brush. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm doing that very lightly and being very gentle and just kind of blending it a little. So now I'm just gonna do the same exact shadows on the other eye. So my eyeshadows are done now. The next thing I'm gonna do is just do my eyeliner. I'm gonna be using this Anastasia eyeliner that I always use, it's like a gel liner and it's in a shade called Jet. It's like the black eyeliner, it's very black and it's really good. Oh, and also, very important, almost forgot. <laughs> um, so before I actually do my eyeliner like on top and all that, on my waterline, I'm gonna use a white eyeliner actually. Here it is. So this is a Marc Jacobs eyeliner. And it's really perfect, I feel like, for cosplay and stuff like that. It's actually called Big Eyes because it makes your eyes look bigger. It's really good to use in like your waterline when you're cosplaying and stuff like that. White eyeliner can actually make your eyes look much bigger and can be really cool looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. And 
and now I'm just gonna do my regular liner, which is my Anastasia gel eyeliner. So you guys can hopefully get the idea. I kind of just like start thinner in the corner and then kind of gets a bit thicker as I go more to the outer corner. And then I just kind of winged it a little bit. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my eyelash curler and curl my lashes. And then I'm gonna be using a waterproof mascara to just kind of make sure that they stay curled and put mascara on. So yeah, and I use the Armani Eyes to Kill mascara. I always think when you curl your lashes, it's usually best to use a waterproof mascara because when I don't use one, my lashes just go back to being straight super fast. So that's what I like to do. And yeah, I'm gonna curl my lashes and then put mascara on. Okay, so that's everything I'm going to be doing for my eyes, and now I'm just going to take my highlighter. I'm like, where did I put it? There it is, okay. I'm going to be taking my highlighter. This is actually also by Anastasia, and it's the Moonchild palette. And I'm just going to put on a little bit of this Pink Heart highlighter. And now I'm just gonna take this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick and this is skin tight. It's kind of like a pink kind of nude shade. And then the final thing and the last thing I'm gonna be doing for this makeup is I'm just gonna be spraying my face with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is just kind of to make your makeup last longer and stuff like that. All right, so I just sprayed it and that's actually it. So that is how I did this makeup and that's how it turned out. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right guys, well my camera is about to die sadly, but it looks like I showed you guys everything now. So yeah, so this is my outfit and my makeup and my keyblade and all that. So I really hope you guys liked this video. I really wanted to do this because I really, really love Kingdom Hearts and I love Kyrie and I was so excited to get this cosplay and I was like, I need to make a video of it. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed seeing this cosplay and if you guys like how it came out, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to know when I post new videos and stuff. And yeah, alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye!